This is Imperial property. Freeze! If I listen, does that mean you won't shoot me? Because that seems out of character. Good point. Don't we usually shoot them anyway? The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. You realize you're a dead man, right? For a worthless piece of scum, you sure are an optimist. Me? I'm more practical. See, I've always believed if you can't beat them, join them. And then beat them. So, I stowed away back on Nar Shadda. All I had to do was wait for you to leave and then give that idiot Corso another smack in the back of the head. Wait, what about Risha? Useless, both of them. That farm boy is so fired when we get back. By all means, send your Wookiee at me. I need a new winter coat. I want to be civil about this. Sure, you've made my life miserable, but... I don't hold a grudge. Really. I've been wanting to kill you since Ord Mantell. Shake hands and make this a learning experience? Take your time, Bodar. I can't make this go slow enough. Just like that. His head is in a crate. Where it's always been. How unceremoniously he died. No last words. I love it. Sorry, Bodar. I couldn't help but get the last shot. level of service is my greatest pleasure, Master. And I am not just programmed to say that. I can't. Captain, I've been meaning to ask. What? Did you happen to... when you fought Skavik? Was Torchy there? Nope. I didn't see a name on anything. I didn't look. A gun's a gun. Maybe to you. What? Don't tell me you have a name on your weapon too. Zero S Sukarzo. Ani ablok tak a fas emilkindik. I wasn't using it anyway. I was just about to say. Besides, our captain has returned. You made it. Open this thing before it's too late. Give me the reliquary. I want to see these treasures before I die. Guess who died, Risha? I buried Skavik in that black hole, by the way. Long story. Who is this Skavik? He's nobody. I'll enter the code my father taught me. And there. Such a simple act to fulfill a lifetime of effort. Congratulations, Captain. Knock Drain's lost fortune is yours. With one exception. Take the crown, Risha. Claim your birthright. Restore the Drain dynasty as rulers of Dubrillion. Wear the crown and rule that world. You did all of this to get to be queen? Your whole crazy treasure hunt has been to get some kingdom back? Our kingdom. And revenge on the usurpers who stole our throne. Remember those assassins on Tatooine? They were sent by the current king of Debrillion to end me. And of course, it had to be a big secret. Why didn't you tell me that back on Tatooine? The less people who know the truth, the better. You saw what happened to my friend Ardila. And she didn't know anything. So then... Don't concern yourself with the fates of others. Never mind. You have more important things to worry about. If you're going to rule a world, Risha, you'll have to do questionable things. 
This is my final lesson to you. The spacer has fulfilled her purpose. Dispose of her and keep the reliquary's treasures for yourself. Runs in the family, doesn't it? Kill me, just like your grandfather killed the crew of that ship? This wealth is designed for royalty, not usurpers or fortune hunters. No, father. I won't kill her. She's my friend. You... useless child. Spent too many years without my guidance. Nice parenting. You're weak. Powerless. Everything I've done... The blood I've spilled... For nothing. <clears throat> this is not how it's supposed to end. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just hilarious. Dispose of my father's body as he instructed Dr. Chela. You are released from my family service. I'm sorry you had to see that, Captain. My father was sick. No, I'm... It was more entertaining than it probably was meant to be. You don't owe me any apologies. You're a wealthy woman, Captain. That reliquary holds more than just family heirlooms. Merchants will be killing each other to buy what you're selling. Not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Everyone I've met from Debrillion has tried to kill me. I don't have an army or a star fleet. I'm supposed to take over a whole planet with just a crown. Queen friendless, huh? Well... I'm not getting rid of you anyway, so... Want a job fixing my ship while you work out the details? Your engines probably need a good tuning after that last trip. I'll take the job. Why, Bodar? I'll make sure all the right people hear what you did today, Captain. It's the least I can do. Besides, famous starship captains attract profitable opportunities. And queens in training can never have too many credits. Let's hit the hyperlanes. You don't cherish your arms, Corso. Just saying. Looks like we've got a call coming in, Captain. Let me put it through. Captain! Such a pleasure to see your lovely face again. I know, right? I aim to be unforgettable. What's up, Darmus? Better talk fast in case, you know, you get accidentally disconnected. Gracious. Corso Riggs defending your virtue. It's cute, isn't it? Not even. I have a business proposition for you, but I'd rather discuss it face to face. Come to Port Nowhere, Captain. Floating Cantina, not far from you. I'll send the specs. I hope that's not all that's floating there. Bodar, leave his arms intact. I can't believe I said that. Seems like a safe location, Captain. But we need to be careful. The Imperials are getting more gutsy. There's nowhere in Republic space that's safe anymore. Was it ever? I don't think the Empire is Dangerous exactly makes headlines. I'm serious. I caught a signature when we were on Nar Shaddaa that looked like the Void Wolf. Yeah, but that was Nar Shaddaa, right? Are you saying this guy's on our tail, or just in the same system? He only dropped out of hyperspace for a second, so it's hard to tell. But I wouldn't dock too long in one place. I never do. The man's a monster. <laughs> Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill. Former slaver. Scourge of the Outer Rim and all-round charmer. My father always kept a close eye on him. The Void Wolf's got delusions of taking over the Underworld, handing it to the Empire wrapped in ribboned. How would you know? You haven't been on... Then let's hit Port Nowhere fast and see if we can get out of his way. You haven't been to Kashyyyk in a hundred years or so. I have a feeling the writers forgot that Bodar has been a slave off of Kashyyyk for a century. Now, this is a huge cantina. Huge, friendly cantina. Captain, I never thought I'd see you here. Thought you were too good for a small time, crooks in Port Nowhere. Once you got your hands on Nocdrean's ship, woohoo! Can I buy you a drink? Get some pointers? I've been waiting for this for a long time. So I'm pretty, but... Sorry, no can do. Well, what about this? So, I've been hearing your name for a while now. Almost as long as you've been hearing mine. Logan. 
They call me the Butcher. You lost a blaster shipment of mine some time back. And I don't remember ever getting an apology. What? Apology pays the bills. You know how to say I'm sorry. Come to think of it, I... Never tried. I'm s I'm sorry. I am incredibly good looking. Nope. Can't. No one steals from me and lives, girl. And don't try to change my mind. You're not my type. Aww. And you're not running away this time. My men have your hangar locked down tight. You sound seriously bored, my friend. Sounds like a fun fight. All right, open season. A hundred thousand credits to the man who brings me that pretty head. Wait, I Don't thought I wasn't boss. your type. Start moving the funds. Yep, this way. Good thing you're prompt, or I'd be a dead man. The second we got off the link, Rogan's men turned up. I hear you stopped them single-handedly. I wouldn't want your life, Captain, but it's rather a thrill to watch. This is Senator Bevera Dodonna. I work with her now. Rah, rah, hail the Republic, etc., etc. What? You want a medal? What's a senator want with someone like you? I've been investigating how the Republic can make better use of independent-minded soldiers of freedom. Which is why Rogan tried to shut us down. He's an Imperial lackey. This old criminal empire answers directly to Imperial command. There's an Imperial fleet waiting out there. Rogan's men were going to deliver us to the Imperials. That's what I keep calling myself. Independent soldier of freedom. Your point? Still not sure what this has to do with me. The Republic is looking for men and women of action. Patriots without the restriction of a trooper's uniform. How would you like a commission from the Galactic Senate, authorizing you as a privateer naval captain, tasked to target Imperial forces at will? Does that mean you and I are going to be friends? I see what you get out of that arrangement, but... It's nothing worse than what you take on daily, for a profit a lot smaller than we can offer, and a cause far less worthy. It's a straightforward deal. We give you targets, cargo, the job we need done, and all the support we can covertly provide. In return, we look the other way about any laws you break, or private gains you make along the way. A fancy badge won't get you out of paying for my services. Don't worry, the Republic will see you well compensated. Our top target right now is Balmora, one of the most likely hotspots for open war to be declared. As <laughs> supposed to close war? Is there anyone in the galaxy who still thinks we aren't at war? The longer we lie, the more people live. I know we're waiting until they're on planet for the full briefing. But maybe in a word? Balmora used to supply half the Republic's military resources. Now it's occupied by the Imperials, and all that technology is going to the... Empire! Empire! <laughs> nice transition. Imperial fleet to cloaked! Port side! No! Ah! Starboard side! They're all around us! It's the Void Wolf! Ah! <laughs> Seriously? Get back to Coruscant. You two, get out of here! I'll try to jump this whole tub before they board us. Right! Go! Have they boarded? Ah, yes they have. Droids. Nope, troopers too. Damn it, I hate that I can't switch combat mode. I think we made it through before the noose tightened. I'll stay and make sure Port Nowhere doesn't land in any more of Rogan's or the Void Wolf's little parties. You can think of her as a safe harbor. So how's this privateer thing work anyway? Well, you heard the Senator. Balmore is the target. When you get closer, one of us will give you the specs. With things changing so fast, there's no point in an early briefing. And don't think this is all about serving the Republic, either. There's a fortune to be made in this war. An enterprising individual could end up with a criminal empire to rival Rogan. That's it? 
rival Rogan. I'm going to annihilate him. You really aren't an easy woman to live with, are you? You don't know the half of it. Look, There's a power talking. vacuum in the underworld where the big name's gone. Not Dre and the hatchet ivory. But I have a feeling you'll be up there one day. Just keep in mind, when you're on Balmora, the opportunities are there. You just have to take them. Of course so. Living with me in your dreams, pal. He has something important he wants to discuss with me. I gotta ask you, Captain. Why are you doing this? What? Before Dodonna, you've had no ties to the Republic. There's got to be places you could make credits without taking Imperial fire. So why do we keep heading straight into the war zones? It's fun, of course. Exciting. Thrilling. Adventurous. Oh, and I make lots of credits. More cash. And more fun. If you're under live fire. I got the feeling it was maybe more than that. You have me when confused with someone else. Torchy. My old man told me something that's always stuck with me. The minute you fire a weapon, someone's getting hurt. It's your responsibility to make sure the good you do with it outweighs that harm. Is that why you name your weapons? Relax, Torchy. Not so fast, Torchy. Did they hurt your feelings, Torchy? When a firefight goes down, who's got time to do that much thinking? I try to. Before Skavik took Torchy, I made sure she only fired against Separatists. Figured every one I took down was one less family murdered. Sergeant Boom Boom, I like to use against the Empire. Well, I'm done. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> Who wrote this? Captain, I just got some real good news. Somebody attempted to access Vidu's old bank accounts from Tatooine. And we care why? Why are we excited? Was he trying to buy me a gift or something? It means somebody's still alive. Vidu's crew was like a family to me. First one after mine were killed. I didn't think any of them survived Skavik and Serena. I don't know what they'd be doing on Tatooine. I'm not getting away from this one, so... Any ideas who it could be? Any idea who's back from the dead? The only one with access to the accounts was our slicer. Twi'lek kid. Called himself Jettison. Good guy. Makes me wonder what got him so desperate he tried to take a loan from a dead man's accounts. It'd mean a lot if we could stop on Tatooine, so I can make sure the kid's okay. Oh, you've got someone you're calling a kid now? Trying to pull on my heartstrings. I've got credit strings. <laughs> Where'd the attempt come from? Anchorhead? From what I can tell, the access attempt came from some village, way off the beaten path. No name or anything. Really makes me wonder what he's doing out there. He could be uh, a dew farmer? Bantha herder? He needs money for a new saddle? Or maybe he's just enjoying life. I don't think you know the concept, do you? <laughs> I thought about changing his appearance, but then I'd have to care. I I'm gonna have to make him wait. I wanna go to Balmora. Wee. Captain, who'd have thought when we met on Coruscant that I'd be calling you today with a formal Republic briefing? Personally, I prefer there to be nothing brief in our encounters. You are brief, Darmus. I mean, I've missed you too, honey bunch. Does that mean you're coming to Balmora in person? Sadly, I have a deadly allergy to high-energy blaster bolts. Balmora was once the Republic's main supplier of everything military. Until the Empire moved in and the Senate voted to turn tail and run which left the Empire holding everything the Republic had commissioned for Project Nebula. Clumsy. The Senate didn't think that one through. The Void Wolf came in too fast and too hard. The Republic forces fled without much more than their bedclothes. The Republic spent billions on Project Nebula's weapons. Then the Imperials nabbed them before they fired a shot. And now the Empire is sending their complete Nebula munitions shipments to their front lines. The Republic's got no chance. Uh-huh. What? You stopped talking. So, here's where you expect me to jump in and do something? Senator Dodonna wants you to work with the Balmoran Resistance. They can help you track down the Nebula shipment, then find a way to divert it to Palliser Station, a Republic base near Corellia. All right. What's the bottom line? So, dangerous mission behind enemy lines, key importance. How many zeros are we talking? The Republic 
once your munitions away from the Empire. However, not enough to pay market value. A smart operator might sell the prototypes back to them piece by piece. <laughs> not that I'm the one who told you. Now, your contact on the ground is one of the rebels, Newman Brock. Check in with him when you land in Bugtown. And pick me up a gift, all right, sweetheart? Maybe a Mark V assault droid? Greetings, Captain. I am C6RR, a Class 6 protocol droid in the service of Newman Brock. My master most often refers to me as Sixer. I believe he sees it as an affectionate nickname. Where is she? Sorry, buddy. I'm on a schedule. Master Newman! Master Newman, the, uh, visitor you were expecting has arrived. So, what brings you to Balmora, Captain? Other than the Fat Republic payoff? They're so busy hiding behind treaties, they're handing out credits like candy. I mean, folks like you and me can make a killing. You and me? Just how much do you think we have in common? You got blasters, brains, beauty. I reckon quite a lot. In peacetime, I'd have been a wanted man by both the Republic and Balmora. And <laughs> now they call me Commander. Master Newman specializes in cryptographic analysis. He oversees all encoded Republic communications. It's very exciting. I deal with the SIS's double agent, codename Golden. He's how he heard about the Nebula shipment. Code names? I never trust a man with a code name. He's given us some of our best information. Without him, we wouldn't have taken Bugtown. But we need to be extremely careful in our communications. Codes. Dead drops. No face-to-face -face contact. We've got a payment due. In return, he says he's got a location for the Nebula shipment. I need you to make the drop-off. It's not going to be that easy, right? I get the feeling this is a lot more complicated than you make it sound. The last agent we sent never came back. The Imperials held a public execution. So you'll need to hit a series of decoy dead drops to flush out any tales before you go to the Okara droid factory for the real deal. What kind of opposition should I expect? The factory is well into occupied territory. Go in quiet. Going quiet, he said. Once you find the drop in the Okara droid factory, leave the payment and pick up the data file Golden left. This is Imperial property. Freeze! Yeah. I'm sure that's not gonna be deadly. If I listen, does that mean you won't shoot me? Because that seems out of character. Good point. Don't we usually <laughs> shoot them anyway? Shut up! Spa, you take point here. Try to take them alive. You didn't say please. Nice! You want to take out the rest of these idiots? We need to talk privately. I couldn't agree more. I'll let you take credit here. These aren't bodies I need on my name. I don't need them on any part of me either. Um, what just happened? Am I the only one here who's really confused? I want access to Moff Tyrek, and I'll pay any price you name to get it. Huh? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Nope. Can't say I do. Guess the right number, and I'll see what I can do. I'm not looking to hire you. I'm here because you're making secret deliveries from Bugtown to Moff Tyrak, Imperial Commander of the 63rd Armored Infantry Division. If he's working for the Resistance, I want to know why. You're not behaving very Imperial-esque. You're Mandalorian. Aren't you loyal to the Empire? No. I am seeking Moff Tyrak for reasons of my own. I will give the Republic all I know of the Empire's plans here as payment for Moff Tyrak. I like her. I could see things your way, for the right money. My money is gone, and all I have to trade is information. Think about it and contact me later. Bit on the serious side, but... For now, I'm going to stay out of sight.
Oh dear, Captain. I cannot say how relieved I am to see you. After you left, Master Newman went to meet with some resistance fighters and he never made it back. Hang on. Who's Moff Tyrek? Is it true the payment was for an Imperial Moff? What were... Oh, yes. The double agent. Moff Tyrak, indeed. You seem to be in one piece, so I trust that went well. Great sakes! I've just intercepted an Imperial data stream. A foot patrol caught Master Newman and the others. They're taking them to Camp Vigil. Oh, no. They took him to a Boy Scout camp. Tell me how I can help. Are you offering to rescue Master Newman? I knew you were a good sort. You can always trust a droid on these things. Master Newman has a pair of field disruptors he intended to use to break our people out. If you were to smuggle them to him now, he could stage a massive prison break from inside. The Empire will be humiliated. If. I guess. And I suppose this prison has a convenient back entrance. Laundry service? Off-site catering? Master Newman has cultivated contacts among those camp vigil guards with weaknesses for stims and other restricted imports. If you make his deliveries to the corrupt guards, you should be able to gain access to the camp, if not the prison itself. How will I recognize them? Flashing icon above their head saying, Traitor? Spy? Double agent? I can make them let me in. Exactly. I'll give you IDs on the guards, and we'll hide the field disruptors in your clothes. And you're ready to go. Just head for Sobrick. Camp Vigil is just inside. I believe Private Wick's on duty at the entrance tonight. I'm sure you'll find a way to convince him to let you in.